Hi Taurus, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the universe has for you, Taurus. Checking my microphone. Strength. Tennis, oh, I heard you're about to go off on somebody. Whoa, taking a mental break. Nine of Wands, you're wounded. Trying to uh, think of a master plan. You have fear present in Scorpio Tower. So you're afraid of the boom. Angel said you're trying to avoid the boom. You're wiped out. Men mentally, you are wiped out. Right? And... I feel like you trying everything under the sun to keep yourself together, Taurus. I don't know what's going on. There's a strength in the world card. Life is getting tough. Okay. You're you're burnt out. I feel like you're trying to manifest your way out of this. That to me feels like change, right? The tower as in a stroke of lightning. Um, things blowing up so you're um, what is it saying things have to break down before you get a breakthrough your breakthrough is on its way this devil card kind of says to me be careful about the negative contributions you're making to this situation whatever that is right um, yeah it's a two of cups And the Nine of Swords. So I have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords. I have the Five of Cups. I feel like you're trying to find the strength to go on. There's some sort of situation that has left you disappointed, hurt, depressed, and, men and mentally wiped out. I really do feel like um, change your mind, change your world is what I just heard. So I feel like if you change your perspective... It's going to offer you new insight because right now four swords and nine of wands, it, it almost feels like your thought, your hope, your faith is stale, right? Almost like you've stalled out. Uh, the nine of wands represents perseverance, right? You are ready to tap out. Um, and maybe you just need a rest. Maybe you need more sleep, nine of swords. You know what I mean? Maybe you need to change your diet, eat more fruits and vegetables, drink more water. Something is ha that has you burnt out. You've been waiting on some sort of manifestation or some sort of break for about three weeks, three months. This is going to sound weird, but I feel like your close relationships are poisoned or strained infected oh you could be mad at a lot of people or a lot of people are mad at you that's what i heard um for some of you this stress strife um fatigue is happening in your personal relationships and it's almost like something's got to give jesus Moses, Buddha, because I'm at my breaking point. That's what I'm hearing on your behalf, Taurus. Well, come on, Jesus, Moses, Buddha. Give, give, Tor give Taurus some relief now. They are babies. Hey, Hierophant, there you are. Pray. Yeah, Taurus, you may need to, to connect with God, angels, spirit, universe, uh, uh, ancestors. The fool, a new beginning is coming. The hanged man, but you feel so stuck. Double hanged man. Eight of cups. You need to walk away and let go. Now, by the way, walk away, let go does not mean permanently. It could be for four days, maybe four weeks, a month. I, another way I could say this is you need a break. Remember, that was McDonald's slogan. Six of wands. This too shall pass. You will move on from this. 
I kind of feel like maybe you're fighting a losing battle and you're still holding on really tight to this losing battle. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it's a money situation. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. In in all honesty, and this just came upon me, this ace, this ace of Wands, this aha moment, you need to surrender, right? Surrendering means having that come to Jesus conversation with either Jesus, God, Buddha, Moses, you know, Elijah, Abraham, whomever. And you need to let go of all of this. Like, like you need to release control realistically. That's also what the hangman represents is sacrifice it. Cause I feel like for a lot of you, where's my martyr card, 10 of swords. A lot of you have been sacrificing yourself for so long for so many people and you are ragged. You know what I mean? And I feel like angels just said to me, cause you keep trying to keep things from hitting the floor. Meaning you try to catch people when they fall metaphorically. You try to save people. You try, right? Angel said, who elected you knight in shining armor, Taurus? And not only that, but you sitting here trying to save everybody else, but your ass ain't even on the list. I love this Auntie Angel. Because <laughs> she comes in and she just reads your ass. Right? Yeah, And that's what this feels like. It feels like you out here saving everybody else, but ain't nobody saving you. You're about to break down. You're about to scrape your knees. You're about to be stabbed in the back by your own betrayal, right? The own be your own betrayal is the idea that you can save everybody. You can't. And and again, universally, like Auntie Auntie Angel, you better be on that list. The people you saving, and angels are like Taurus is never on that list. Oh, oh well. Taurus, we need to recalibrate. We need to refresh. We need to re reboot reboot the system because this uh wheel of fortune this cycle can't continue this is a vicious cycle um not only that but i feel like your money is being poisoned because everything you get you give away oh right i gotta go <laughs> i got oh when, when my angels start bringing the heat like that i'm like listen this ain't even my energy <laughs> this ain't even mine i gotta go but yeah, Taurus, I feel like you're doing a lot. I feel like right now you're down in the dumps. And I feel like the universe is coming in to rescue you yet again. My advice to you, based on what I'm hearing from my angels, is this new offering that you get from the universe, don't give that shit away. Don't give. Angels are saying if your money has been poisoned, if it's been stuck, it's because you keep giving it away. If your money is blocked, you keep giving away. I know growing up, my mom would borrow money from other people to help other people. So she would borrow the money to give the money away. No. <laughs> That's what this feels like. All the money you getting, you're, you're, you're spending it or, or giving it to save a lost cause. I have to go. Make, the, make time for self-love. See what I'm saying? You, you got to be on that list. I'm sorry, you do. You can't say to God, God, well, who's going to help me? Because the answer is God. <laughs> it's like, uh, me. I'm trying to give you some opportunities, but you keep taking the help I'm giving you and turning it on or giving it away to somebody else. Shine. Yeah, Taurus, you need, you need a big dose of self-care. Be proud of yourself. And see, y'all got one of those hearts where, yeah, you would give your last to somebody who's suffering. But that don't mean that you're supposed to suffer. In the U.S., I forget what the law is, but it's a law that basically says, hey, if, you're, if your life is in danger, I don't have to risk my life to save your life, okay? Okay. Right. It's one of those things where you are over sacrificing yourself for unworthy causes. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you keep hitting the ground. You trying to save everybody else's or solve everybody else's problems. But yours, yours keep piling up. I got to go. Think it through. You know, I my my reading style and my delivery style is tough love balls to the walls 
But at the end of the day, Taurus, I do care. I do, right? I, you know, this is not right. Universally, energetically, you are grossly out of balance, grossly out of alignment, you know? And every time the universe tries to pump stuff in you, you're giving it away, but you're keeping the stress. You're keeping the anxiety. You're keeping the worry. You're the one staying up at night where everybody around you is sleeping like babies. Taurus, come on now. We love you. We just want you to love you too. Do a better job at it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.